Greetings everyone. Welcome back. Today I am going to discuss the plant classification, specifically exploring the Angler and Brentel system of classification, which is considered as the phylogenetic system of classification. Uh, the two legendary general botanists tackle the monumental task of organizing the plant kingdom, which starts from algae to the angiosperms. Uh, this system is considered as the giant botanical tree, and each branch represents a division, then class, order, family, genus, and species. And uh, the plants were classified on the basis of uh, flower structure, then seed, and other morphological features, including evolutionary history. So these were the characteristic features which were taken into the consideration while classifying the plants. So in this presentation, I will try to discuss the salient features of this classification, its merits and demerits. Let's dive in. Uh, this phylogenetic system of classification was given by Adolf Engler and Karl Brandl. Adolf Engler, 1844 to 1930, and Karl Brandl, uh, Brandl from 1849 to 1893. These both were German botanists. He don't know he Germany ke botanists they, and they have done this monumental work and published uh, twenty three volumes named as D Naturalition P Flensi Family, which means in English the natural plant families. Or in her classify tha plants ko algae to angiosperms, jo ki flowering plants hai. They classify the algae to angiosperms, and uh, this classification was based on in the evolutionary trends so that's why this is called phylogenetic system of classification and uh, this classification includes 303 families of flowering plants so this was uh, the name of their book that is die natural edition p flensi family which means in english the natural plant families The salient features of the system of classification. So they considered gametopetalous condition as more advanced condition as compared to the polypetalous one. Gametopetalous means in which the floral parts are fused. This may floral parts fused or this condition of the gametopetalous condition or this may free or the polypetalous condition. So the polypetalous condition is primitive condition hai, while the gametopetalous condition is the advanced condition. Uh, then next was uh, they considered monocotyledons as uh, primitive plants as in place before dicotyledons then there was uh, this uh, group that is monoclamide this has been as uh, abolished and its families were placed in series archiclamide this group is from the classification and its two families they were placed in this group that is called archiclamide the indefinite number of stamens and carpels they were considered primitive means flowers bearing indefinite number Stamens or carpels, so SA flowers go primitive or plants go primitive consider as compared with plants having definite number of carpels and stamens. Then hypogynous condition of ovary were considered uh, was considered primitive to SA plants in my ovary condition hypogynous hai, was a primitive consider while that of the perigonous flowers means having uh, half superior, half inferior ovary. Then orchids were uh, more uh, evolved or uh, advanced as compared to the grasses. And a petalous catkin bearing dicots. They were considered primitive to the dicots bearing petals and simple unisexual flowers. So, SA dicots in petals be the or unisexual flowers and unko consider kya kya advanced and dicots as compared to the a petalous catkin bearing, bearing dicots. Next comes outline basis of uh, classification. So, plant kingdom has been divided into 14 divisions. Jo division 13 tak hai, they deal with bacteria, they deal with bacteria, different types of algae, fungi, bryophytes and tridophytes. Or jo 14th division hai, that is named as uh, embryophyta or siphonogamia, which include all the seed producing plants. So this is two groups, two subdivisions, aate hai, that is gymnospermae, gymno means naked, having naked ovules or seeds, angiospermae having enclosed ovules or seeds. Gymnospermae has been divided into seven orders from cycadophilicals to nitales. The gymnosperms have been seven orders mein divide kya kya hai, uh, from cycadophilicals to nitales, which is the advanced order in case of gymnosperms. 
देन द सब डिविजन एन जी एसपो में इसको भी दो ग्रुप्स में डिवाइड किया गया है देर इज टू क्लासेस कैन इंक्लूड मोनोकॉटलिडनी एंड डाइकॉटलिडनी जो मोनोकॉटलिडनी है उसे प्रिमेटिव माना गया है और जो डाइकॉट्स है उसे माना गया है एडवांस्ड सो दे रिवाइड मोनोकॉट्स इन टू इलेवन ऑर्डर एंड फोर्टी फाइव फैमिलीज और इसमें जो सबसे प्रिमेटिव ऑर्डर था दैर वॉज पैंड एन एल्स जिसमें आते थे फ्लावर्स विच आर नेक्ड एंड यूनिसेक्शुअल एंड द फैमिली दैर वॉज टाइफेसी विच वॉज स्टार्टिंग फैमिली इन दिस ग्रुप एंड द लास्ट ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस वॉज माइक्रोस्पर में और इसमें जो फैमिली थी लास्ट दैर वॉज ऑर्किडेसी इस इज द लास्ट फैमिली ऑफ दिस ग्रुप दैन दे डिड मोनो डाइकॉट्स इन टू टू ग्रुप्स दैर इज आर्किक्लामाइडी एंड मेटाक्लामाइडी और जो मेटाक्लोमाइडी है उसे सिम पेटले भी कहा था इट मीन्स इसमें जो पेटल्स होते हैं या फिर एसेसरी वर्ल्स होते हैं दे आर फ्यूज मीन्स गेमो पेटल्स कंडीशन होती है वायलिन आर की क्लोमाइडी जो ये पेटल्स हैं या और जो एसेसरी फ्लोरल वर्ल्स हैं दे वर फ्री मीन्स पॉली पेटल्स कंडीशन सो इन आर की क्लोमाइडी द फ्लावर्स आर ए क्लोमाइडस दैर मे वी विदाउट एनी एसेसरी वर्ल्ड और मोनोक्लोमाइडस मीन्स हैविंग सिंगल एसेसरी वर्ल्ड बट पेटल्स आर मोस्टली फ्री दैर इज पॉली पेटल्स कंडीशन वायल इन केस ऑफ मेटाक्लोमाइडी जो ये ग्रुप था इसमें जो कंडीशंस थी दैट वाज गेम ऑफ पेटल्स कंडीशन मींस जो पेटल्स थे दे वर फ्यूज्ड द सेकंड सब क्लास ऑफ दिस ग्रुप दैट इज डाइकॉटस मेटाक्लोमाइडी और सिम पेटली इन दिस ग्रुप द पेटल्स आर फ्यूज्ड मींस द कंडीशन इज गेम ऑफ पेटल्स इसमें जो कंडीशन है दैट इज गेम ऑफ पेटल्स मींस पेटल्स फ्यूज्ड होते हैं और जो आर्किक्लोमाइडी हैड कंटेंस 33 ऑर्डर्स and approximately 206 families the first order being verticillate or smith of family that is cajurinaceae that is a starting family while the last order hai isme that is umbelliflorae last order is umbelliflorae or jo family hai last that is cornaceae in this archaeomyri group in sympatley there are 11 orders इसमें इलेवन ऑर्डर्स हैं और जो फर्स्ट ऑर्डर है दैट इज एरिकेल्स विद क्लैथ्रेसी एज द स्टार्टिंग फैमिली एरिकेल इज द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर और जो स्टार्टिंग फैमिली है दैट इज क्लैथ्रेसी वाइल द लास्ट ऑर्डर इज विद द फैमिली दैट इज एस्ट्रेसी इसमें जो लास्ट फैमिली है दैट इज विद फैमिली एस्ट्रेसी मीन्स जो डाइकॉट केरवास फैमिली है उसको उन्होंने लास्ट में रखा सो दिस इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ एंग्लो प्लांट सिस्टम क्लासिफिकेशन सो दे डिवाइड प्लांट्स in two 14 groups that is 1 to 13 was bacteria to pteridophytes and 14th was embryophyta or siphonogamia siphon means a tube means jisme aise plants aate hain jo tube pollen tube produce karte hain for the transmission of gametes then they divided this embryophyta into two groups that is gymnosperm and angiosperm jo gymnosperm hain they one ko divide kiya gaya tha seven orders mein ranging from psychedelic gales to natales or jo angiosperm hai that was divided into two uh, classes that is monocotyledony and dicotyledony jo uh, dicotyledony hai isko further in divide kiya do sub classes mein that is archaeomyidy and metaclomyidy jise sympatley bhi kaha tha so this is the outline of angular and parental system of classification which is considered as the phylogenetic system of classification next comes merits and the merits of this system of classification first level discuss about the merits so it was a phylogenetic system of classification means it uh, studied the evolutionary literness or uh, evolutionary history of the plant groups plant groups are arranged mostly according to evolutionary affinities that is primitive groups followed by advanced the system deals with all groups of plant kingdoms ranging from bacteria algae fungi bryophyta pteridophyta gymnosperms and angiosperms the system provide modern taxonomic keys for identification of each group of plants keys as a set of rules hote hain jisse hum plant ko classify kar pate so gymnosperm treated as the separate group its position before angiosperm is very accurate and is in perfect accordance to modern system of our concept of evolution the position of astrici aur isse pehle compositi kaha jata tha as the last family of dicot is very logical and accurate because it is the highest evolved family of dicot means most advanced family of dicot and that is the astrici the position of orchidaceae at the end of monocots is very accurate orchidaceae bhi monocots mein bahut advanced family hai and it is its the most evolved family of monocots anatomical data were taken into consideration in the system of class classification for the first time 
तो जो एनाटॉमिकल स्टडीज हैं वो भी कंसिडर की गई थी फॉर दिस क्लासिफिकेशन पर्पज नेक्स्ट कम्स डी मैरिज ऑफ दिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन सो मोनोकॉर्ड्स को कंसिडर किया गया था प्रेमेटिव टू द डाई कॉर्ड्स जो कि एक ड्रॉबैक है और दिस इज नॉट ट्रू और करेक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द मॉडर्न एवोल्यूशन एविडेंसिज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रेमेटिव फ्लॉर दैट इज यूनिसेक्शुअल एक्लामाइडस इज अगेंस्ट द मॉडर्न कंसेप्ट ऑफ एवोल्यूशन मीन्स जो एक्लामाइडस फ्लॉर्स हैं यूनिसेक्शुअल फ्लॉर्स हैं दीज आर एडवांस फ्लॉर्स और ऐसे प्लांट्स एडवांस प्लांट्स होते हैं कंबाइनिंग ए पेटलस फैमिलीज विद पॉली पेटलस फैमिलीज टू फॉर्म आर इक्लामाइडी is not desirable as it has resulted in the formation of very large group that is 33 orders and 206 families to ye bhi correct uh, combination nahi tha the system is not of much practical utility to ye kuch drawbacks hain is uh, system of classification ki that is the phylogenetic system classification given by angler and prentel so this was all about for our today's discussion about the phylogenetic system of classification given by angler and prentel hope you will get some idea from this presentation if you have any questions queries and any suggestions give it in the comment section thanks for watching have a great time